This is our last tutorial for Illustrator, and this is the pen tool. So the first thing I've done is I've gone to the internet and I've Googled silhouette, and I could Google the silhouette of a lion or a person. Um, I'm going to take this bunny and I'm just going to drag and drop the picture to my desktop, if it will cooperate. And once I have it on my desktop, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my artboard. So it's a little big, which is fine. I'm going to reduce that, uh, getting the black and making sure I hold shift. If you don't hold shift, let me show you what's going to happen. You're going to warp your bunny. It's going to look terrible. So I'm going to undo that, Command Z. Um, and I want to zoom in so that it's about as big as I can fit on my screen. And what we're going to do is I'm going to trace the bunny so that the bunny is mine. Once the bunny is mine, I can make the bunny pink, I can make it yellow, I can duplicate the bunny, I can make the bunny smaller and bigger, and I can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. I can make it just an outline, I can fill it with font. Um, I also, by making it myself, um, it becomes mine, and instead of breaking copyright laws, um, I've made it my own, so then it is legally mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is, and it's the most important thing, is to go get the pen tool, and what I want to do is I want to make sure I don't have a fill. Um, but I'm going to just go and select a really bright color, and then I'm going to swap them. So I now have no fill and a colorful stroke, and that's going to help me figure out where I am here on my bunny. I'm going to zoom in even more. Um, I'm just going to begin somewhere that I feel comfortable. So I'm going to start sort of on the beginning of this edge, and I'm going to go to this side of the curve, and I'm going to click. And then by remaining clicking, or remaining holding on the on the mouse, I'm going to drag. And what's happening here is I'm creating my curve. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to let go. I'm going to click again on the last point I laid. I'm going to go to the other side of the curve again. Without letting go of the mouse, I'm pulling my curves and trying to match that curve reasonably well. Once I'm happy with that, click the last curve. Pull it just a little bit. So I'm just going along and I can um, probably do half this tail at once. Last point to here. Last point. And some of the angles, depending on how um, gradual the curve is, can be nice big ones like that one. Um, some of them need to be a little bit tighter. If at any time you mess up, you can just go Command Z and you go back to the last point. Just make sure that you um, select the last anchor point again. Okay, so uh, this is going to be pretty tedious here to watch me finish, um, but I want to do a decent job for you. So click the last point. And the better you get, um, the faster this will come. And you'll also be better at interpreting where to lay the points. Um, and if you want to do a straight, you can do just straights. I just did a couple straights there. If it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter because we're going to actually delete the original after um, so that we don't have it anymore. We're not breaking any copyrights. So to move the shape, I'm just um, holding the space bar, and that's going to reorientate myself here. So I like those big gradual shapes. They're probably the easiest. And you can get a good amount done all at once. Oops, somehow that got a little messed up. So I'm just clicking along, and I'm almost done here. Oops. So I've just messed up there. I don't think I'm actually clicking that last anchor point was the problem. So 
So the smaller the section that you can do it, obviously, the better. And I'm going to try to do this all in one. Now, what you'll notice that when I go back to my very first point, I get that little tiny white outline circle. And that means that I've completed my shape. If I don't get that, it's no, not actually a shape. It's just a line segment. So now that I have that, if I just switch my colors, I can now see my bunny. So I'm going to actually go and delete this. And here is my bunny, and it looks pretty good. If there's any areas that you're not happy with, oh, there's a little flaw there up in the in the ear. So what you can do is with the sub selection tool, you can actually go in, and on the anchor points, you can alter the arm so that you can adjust the angles, um, and you can also alter the the points um, to see if there's a problem. So my problem here is that I've got two anchor points. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go delete anchor point. I'm going to get rid of this one, and that should kind of fix that. My angle's a little off, but at least it still looks like a bunny. Okay, so zoom back out. So what's cool is now this is my bunny. So I can make it smaller. I can duplicate it. I can duplicate it, and then I can make an ear, a mirror. make a mirror bunny and then I can Pathfinder add them together and then I can change it to stroke and then the color I can change to a super cute bunnylicious purple um, and I can increase the stroke And you can play around and do all sorts of fun things. Um, I can make a smaller white bunny inside my big bunny. I can do all sorts of stuff. So that is the pen tool. Um, you will probably despise it at first, but you will learn to love it. Uh, and it, you'll just get better with practice and practice and practice.